if you're doing the quest, we need to cook. So you're going to need to buy the chemistry station at the warehouse and you're going to need to buy the lab oven. You can also need to buy what we call the phosphorus and the acid over here. The third item is something you buy from the contact uh, Shirley Watts, which is this guy over here, low quality pseudo. So you can buy it from her, right? And the maximum is nine, apparently. There you go. So you're gonna get that, and you're gonna put it over here uh, on the third slot. So here I have uh, all the items required, as you can see. All I have to do, click begin, and you're gonna grab everything over here, like this. There you go. Grab this guy over here. There you go. And you're gonna spin. There we go. Be careful, by the way. <laughs> Burner. I go like this. Click this. There you go. Whew. So there we go. And all I have to do is to get the liquid over here. There we go. And I could do it again uh, nine more times, by the way. But here, you go to the uh, the lab oven. Put this over here. Begin. Uh, put this down. And there we go. Put it up. And cook. <laughs> and you have to wait six minutes over here. So yeah, that's kind of like a lot of work. So if you have a chemistry uh, worker, you know, that's a good thing. So they can do the job for you. As long as you have the mats for uh, for him, because you see the, the mats over here, uh, they don't haul, they don't bring it. You have to bring it over here or you need to have a hauler. So if you have a hauler who can bring it for you, then that's good. Otherwise, you got to make sure you provide them with the mats over here. If you want the chemistry worker to work technically, so here, if you come to the uh, warehouse and you speak to the uh, the manager, you want to hire a uh, chemist. Chemist, this guy over here, right? Okay, I want them at the bungalow. So he's gonna cost me three hundred dollar a day. There you go. So now, as you can see, I have a chemist. His name is Brandon. All right. So now I'm gonna press nine. I'm gonna click this guy. Assign a bed. Oh. This guy, there we go. And then you're gonna go back to him, assign station. And you're gonna click the station, which is this one. Uh, this one. So chemistry in Lab Hoven. And let me see if he does this one. Mixing station as well. Oh, he does that too. Nice. But the thing is that he's not gonna haul anything. He's just gonna click, you know, the mixing station once you, once you have the uh, stuff in there. So when you press 9, press E, as you can see, uh, recipe is going to be this one over here, right? Destination, you're going to click this one over here. So we can only go to one place. So it's only one destination per chemistry station, right? So <laughs> the two other ones, I guess I'm going to do it myself manually, unless until I have uh, two more chemistry station. So I'm going to sleep over here so you see how he works. Okay. So as you can see, the chemist, here he is, he's going to be working at the station. So know that you cannot use a station once he is assigned to it. There you go. Now that he's done, uh, he's going to go back and wait outside. And the reason for that is because he has no more job. And the reason is because it's one chemist per uh, lab oven. I could make him work over here as well. Let me double check. So station. All right. I'm going to have to remove the lab. Okay. I'm going to take this guy over here and see what happens. Thing is that he's not going to work over here because there's already something. He's only going to work. He's only going to work if I put something over here. But you see, that's the hauler. I need to have a hauler that puts some things over here. Right. So I'm going to put something just for fun. So, okay, so here I'm going to put the donut here and he should come, I think. Let me double check. Yeah, there he is. 
So see, when there are so when there are two things inside the mixer, he's gonna come and just click it. Well, he's okay. He's <laughs> he's so he okay. So here's it. So instead of like clicking the button, he's just mixing it. It's kind of like the uh, mix station one. But uh, I thought he would click it, but instead he's working on it, so it's going to take a minute, technically. It's pretty much the same thing. Okay, he clicked it. <laughs> but it took him like freaking 10, 15 seconds to click it. Alright, I see. So, like I said, he doesn't haul the ingredients over there. So you need to have a hauler to bring the ingredients from wherever to wherever in order for the chemist to actually do what he has to do to work on it. Once this is done, he's going to haul this to this place over here. Over here, um, don't forget that when you press the lab oven, you need to set a destination so so that the uh, chemist can bring the product to wherever you want him to bring it. So I'm gonna pick, uh, let's put it there here. Let's put it in the medium rack. Here, if, if I press nine, the notepad, and clicks on manage mix station, you have the threshold and you have destination. So destination, you just tell uh, where you want the chemist to bring the uh, finished ingredient. So you can choose whatever storage you want. The threshold means the mixing station must contain at least this many products mixers uh, before mixing starts. So if you have at least one, he will work on it. Or you can say at least 10, he will work on it. So here, the, the chemistry station is done. He's going to take the product. Uh, before he takes the product, he's going to do another one, technically, apparently. So he's going to mix another uh, stuff. And he should, take, he should take the end product. There you go. So now he's going to put it in the other place. Simple as that. There you go. And then if there's nothing else to do, he's just going to go back to whatever he was doing. So I guess this is how it works. So I hope this helped. If it does, please like and sub. Thanks for watching. Cheers.